there have been previous films casting doubt on the COVID-19 pandemic and inspiring conspiracy theories. Well, now a new project has been launched in France. It's known as Hold Up. The two-hour, 40-minute documentary claims to shed new light on the health crisis, but it also effectively brings together an accumulation of conspiracy voices and sceptics, concluding without clear evidence that there is a global conspiracy plot to essentially subvert citizens in the pandemic. Now, the film features a number of false claims that have been debunked by French fact-checkers. For example, early in Hold Up, it suggests that France is not following the guidance from the World Health Organization and that masks are not necessary. But if you go onto the WHO website that you can do at home, you will see in bold on the website, make wearing a mask a normal part of being around other people. This just one false claim featured in the film that has been debunked by fact-checkers. Now, Hold Up has received a lot of condemnation from senior French politicians. You have, for example, the deputy president of En Marche, who says on Twitter that this is not a documentary, this is not journalism. Instead, she describes it as blockbuster budget, conspirational propaganda. Going even further was Letitia Avia, who said that this is fake news on fake news and a mind-blowing project. It is worth saying there are other high-profile celebrities and politicians who are promoting this documentary simply to cast doubt and criticise on the French government's response to the health crisis, but it features a lot of conspiracy theories. And perhaps more remarkable, there are also contributors, including a former French health minister, Philippe Doust Blasé. He has since sought to distance himself from the project, saying that it was presented to him as a documentary, but he has not seen the film, and he says that if there are any conspiracy theories in it, he wants to disassociate himself from the project, saying that the health crisis we are going through is serious enough not to add any confusion to the painful times we are living through. Worth noting that Hold Up was initially launched as a, as a campaign project via a crowdfunding page known as Ulul, and the co-founder of that platform has also since released a statement, saying on a similar sort of note that they were also presented this as a documentary, but they since realized it was a banner for conspiracy theories that Ulul as a platform does not stand for. As a result, they have announced that they are taking action. Notably, they will not be advertising this film on their platform any longer, but they have also said that any and the entire commission that is made from this film that will be donated to organizations dedicated to fact-checking and truthful information. Well, Tokes, this project has certainly got a lot of popularity, a lot of viral claims going around as a result of this. And a lot of analysts are saying this is because it is such a well-made documentary with a lot of money has gone into it. But important to say, a lot of conspiracy theories and false claims are also featured in this film.